Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you, I hope you're well. Right, today it's the engine service. We've got the cover off. We've got all the bits out on the table. I'll show you what we're going to use. The parts we, we've bought and ordered and the tools we're going to be using. Stay tuned. So the first thing you're going to need is a, like some tools. So I mean, I've just got a... Uh, socket set here this is a dewalt socket set it's got lots of various spanners sockets and screwdriver bits allen keys everything you might need in there and then we're going to need some gloves to protect your hands we've got some um, rock oil we've got a new anode to go on the bottom we've got gear oil we've got engine oil we've got three new spark plugs there a new thermostat to go in a new fuel filter to go in, a new oil filter to go on, and in this little packet we've got the new impeller and a gasket set. So hopefully we've got everything there we need to, to do this service. And I've also got a tin of uh, WD-40 just in case we come across any stubborn bolts. So there we go, that's what you're going to need. So the first thing we're doing, John, is just greasing up he's got a grease gun there and he's just greasing up all of the uh the shaft here so we're just going around there's three grease nipples on this uh engine this engine there's one there where's the other two they're at the front up here they're the other side done. yeah they're like for you when you tilt it up it keeps this shaft oh i see lubed. okay when you tilt it up and this one this is your is your steering shaft yeah and i pumped it up and my god the amount of rusty horrible water that came out of there that was dry as a bone and this engine is feeling do you remember before it was stiff as yeah air? yeah look at it now yeah she's gliding look, she's gliding so that's that stage done anyway for a sec we'll put the grease gun over it right so the next thing that's going to go in is the spark plugs we need to take the ht leads off take these leads off whip the old plugs out which are in there look Whip them out and put the new ones in. Oh, oh that oh, sounded sorry. like it's been in there a while. That was tight, that one. Keep them, mate. They ain't been in there long at all. The new one's going in. This one. It's an 18 millimeter if you were interested what size this is. Two, third one going in. That's it. Oh, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Right, just quickly, I want to show you, this is quite important. <clears throat> um, the, the different spark plugs from the different cylinders you'll see that this one's quite black this was from the top cylinder this was the middle one and this is more of a brown color which is really sort of what you want and this one's quite a light color which means that this one's running rich this one's probably just right and this one is probably a little bit lean so later on what we're going to do is we're going to uh I've bought a special tool and we are going to balance the carburetors so that they're all working in tandem but I'm going to leave that for another video that's not going to be on this video we'll do a separate video on that because it's a bit more in depth but yeah just so you can see the different colors on those spark plugs right the next thing on the list is the fuel filter you can see it here John's just taking the little um, clamps off so we can get that off We've put a little bit of rag down inside, so if any fuel spills out, it, we can catch it on the rag. That's it, mate. All right, that's the new one going on. All right, so what we've done, basically you just take these two, these two side clips off, here and here, the ends, and then this rubber bit is like an outer housing, and the actual fuel filter sits inside that. So you just take this off, disconnect two pipes, take the old one out, put the new one in, put the clips back on, job done. That's it. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is the oil. So we're going to drop all the old oil out and we're going to put the new oil filter on and put the new oil into the specified levels. Right, on this engine, the um, the oil drain plug is actually, we believe, it's this, this little nut here, just underneath there. And obviously, if you see, I've got an oil catch can there. There's no way that's going to get right underneath there. So what John's come up with, we're going to use a bit of the old tin foil and we're going to make like a little like a little channel for it to drop down and then it can drop down into if i come back a bit come down down the foil drop down into hopefully into the the catch can let's see how this plays out Right, so that is the oil out. Waiting for them last few bits to drip drip out. You can see those last little bits just dripping out. You see, you, you'd end up with it on the engine. There's there's no stopping it. You can't you can't stop it from doing that. Nearly impossible. It's just dripping down in the old bucket. So we're going to wait for that to um, to finish dripping. And then uh, we're going to get that, it's around this side, we're going to get the, uh, fuel fil uh, the oil filter off. Right, I've got the old oil um, filter pliers, so I'm just going to literally loosen this off, just a bit at a time. That was pretty tight on there to be fair. I don't think I would have done it without these. Um, but these, like, you can get them on eBay for like five quid. They're not expensive. Right, so to catch all the, any, any, obviously when we take this off, it's gonna drip down. So I'm just stuffing some tissue down in there to catch any drips and that. Just to try and minimize the mess we get in here. Cause these are, Prevention's better than cure with these because it's a nightmare to get your hands down inside these engines and try and uh, clean it out. So it's better to try and catch it, really. And see if she's out. A little wiggle. I'll we'll put it on. There we go. On, just upright on its head. Pretty fair, none's come out. That's good. Literally clean as a whistle, look. Didn't need the tissue. Right, so I've got the new filter here. Sorry about this crappy angle for the camera. The the, uh, the new filter to go on. And obviously, any of you buddy mechanics out there will know you've got to put your bead of oil around the outer edge. So I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. Run it around the outer edge of that rubber seal. And that just helps it seat and sit in and seal properly don't be shy with that plenty on there we go now she's all lubed up ready to go in well, i'm going to try and hold the camera and do this at the same time just try and get it in there make sure you get it on don't cross thread it there we go finger tight so I do it like with fingers and then I just get like one, one good grip of it and give it a good, a good sort of quarter turn. And that hopefully should be enough. So now, just got to clean up the old oil from here, put the drain plug back in, then we can start topping it up with the fresh new oil. So this is the oil fill cap. So I'll obviously remove that. We're just gonna to top it up with the right amount of oil. All right, just before we go ahead and put that oil in, I nearly forgot to put the sump plug back in. If we'd have started filling it up, it would have just come straight out of the bottom again. We nearly forgot. We're just tightening that back in and then we can fill it up 
Right, 1.9 litres we've got to put in, and we've got two of these, one litre, so nearly all of what I've got here. It says the measurements on the back, so we're just going to put all of one in. We're going to put 900 mil with the second one in as well. Just do it nice and slowly. Right, that's all of one bottle. I'm going to put 900 mil of this one in. So I'll make sure I've got 100 mil left in this bottle at the end. Right, rather, rather than risk putting too much in, because it goes down on here to 300, but then the 200 and the 100 is missing. So I don't want to guess it. So I've gone down just below the 300, to, so we're safe. And now we'll revert over to the dipstick. We'll give it a, I don't know, a couple of three minutes to uh, work its way down to the bottom of the engine. We'll check that dipstick. Right, just going to check the dipstick. It's been about five minutes. Take that out, wipe her off. Yep. Seat it all the way in. And we pull it back out. Check where our level is. To be fair, I'd say we're pretty much there. And so we'll, we'll leave that oil level at, at that for now. Obviously the, the new filter, when we run the engine, that's going to fill up and drain down some of this oil. So after we've run it, we'll check it again. And we might have to, well, we're probably going to have to top it up again. Right, before, before we start this engine up, we're going to do, we're going to do the gearbox oil first. Now there's two, two, um, screws for the gearbox oil there's one at the bottom where the oil drains out from which is here which is a massive flathead screwdriver and there's one here which you can also use a flathead or a crosshead on this one now we've already backed out this top one you should always remove the top one first because if you take the bottom one out and then you can't remove the top one you can't fill it back up and you've lost all your oil so make sure your top one comes out first we've loosened this off that's that's coming out right we're going to take the bottom one out first it's got a tiny little o-ring on it all right so that's the bottom one out and when I take this top one out, you'll probably see it all start rushing out. Let's make sure we've got the uh, can under it to catch it. And this will basically let the air in the, at the top. There we go. There we go, now you can see that draining down. Got the top one out. Right, so we just let this drain down. I don't know how long that's gonna take. Might take five minutes, 10 minutes. We're going to let that just keep dripping until it completely stops. Then we know it's empty, or as empty as we can get it. Hopefully you can see me or see what's going on here. This sum has to be filled in from the bottom with the top screw out. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to squirt the oil in until it starts coming out of the top. Once it starts coming out the top, John's going to whip that screw back in. And then I can take the tube away and quickly whip in this one at the bottom. And that pushes all the air up out the top. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we do this right. All right, here we go. I don't know how much it's going to take of this tube. I can hear it gurgling oh there it is there it is <laughs> yeah oh. right so hopefully that's pushed all the air out so it's forced all the oil up pushing all the air out the top you saw it piss out the top there 
And now I've got to remove this bit at the bottom and quickly put that other drain plug back in before we lose any. Go. Start screwing her up. Don't know if you guys have ever worked on gearbox oil. You're not going to be able to smell it, but I'll tell you now, it's the most stinky oil I think I've ever removed out of something proper stinky. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Tighten him in. That's it. They're tight as, tight as I'm going to get them. So i put that back on. Those were still dripping. Well, right, I'm going to clean everything up. And, um, and we're going to do the water pump. Yep, yeah, water pump next. I've already cracked these bolts loose. They were actually quite loose. They didn't take much to, uh, to crack them off. We're going to get these off. Take this whole bottom leg off. And we're going to do the impeller, which is somewhere inside here. I've never done that before. So it'll be something new for me. So we're going to change this next. This is the anode and this is located, if I show you, on the bottom of the engine here. I've already backed the screw out and loosened it up. So basically, I'm no expert, but from what I know, this is like a, a, like a little mini trim tab. So you can move it left to right like this. And that will obviously make the boat, like basically it's like tracking for the engine. Like you'd get your car wheels tracked. And it also attracts all the nasties to this. This acts like a magnet to all like the salt and all the crap and all the rubbish. Instead of it attacking the rest of the engine, it attacks this replace, replaceable, replenish, what, what's the word I'm looking for? A perishable item. So this is supposed to go nasty, supposed to. So we're going to change that out now, put the new one on. Hopefully I'll get it somewhere in the middle and hopefully that'll be about right. Right, just tighten it down. Well, I don't know exactly where it's got to be, but it's somewhere in the middle, that's where I put it. There we go, that's it, done. Next job, we're gonna take the whole bottom leg off now. I've taken my two bolts out this side, one there and one there. John's just taking the last one out this side. And then hopefully that whole unit from here downwards should all slide out. Oh, there is, there is uh, some more bolts. I think some linkage thing up here somewhere we've got to take that, that off oh, you've done that yeah i've done that yeah yeah we've got that, that you've got to loosen this one off as well and then that whole thing will just hopefully just come away so we've got all the bolts out it's all free and loose as you can see there's a bit of a gap in here so john's just going to literally pull it all out there she comes yeah. there we go what we got in there then a spider. <laughs> He's getting evicted yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it looks all right, mate. It looks like it's. Uh... And what about up inside? I've never seen up in one of these before. There's not much in there, really. Well, there we go. We're going to start working on this now. I'm going to get going on that. So we got it in the vice now in the garage. It's just easier work on it he's just cracking these bolts loose and hopefully we'll get his cover off and the little impeller should be down inside should look something like that that's the new one be interesting to see compare this this new one with the old one and see how bad that old one actually is i mean i've had a lot of guys on um, the channel that have been following these last few videos and they've actually said that some have said it pumps water well don't change it and some have said because it's been sat for a while the chances are it might have cracked and gone dry where it's been sat dry so i'm just going to change it anyway right there we go there's the there's the old impeller john actually said that this one looks pretty new 
but as we've got it off we're just going to change it anyway just to just to be on the safe side and in the pack i've got this little gasket that runs around the outside of here and on this bit there's a paper gasket in there which i've got a new one for so we're going to put that on as well we're just going to take all these old stuff out put the new in and put it all back together shouldn't take too long so putting the new gasket over you got to clean that off now. You've got to clean this one up, get all that old one off. To be fair, that gasket looks all right. John's, basically, just off camera, we had a little bit of a discussion whether this was actually worth doing because it all looks pretty good. And John said, like, all of the bolts and that have got fresh grease on them. Just show you. It's got fresh... There you go. They've all got pretty fresh grease on. And he said it all looks... Like it's been done fairly recently. Obviously the boat's been sat for a while, but obviously for that 18 months he ain't used it. So I'm not sure, well, so Simon, if you are listening, I know you're going to comment on this video. Do you know when this was last changed? Let, let, let us all know because it all looks pretty pretty good to us. So we've put the, the new metal bit back down on the gaskets underneath and the metal bit's just gone down on top. Sorry, I forgot to film it. And then we've got to put the new impeller in. There's the old one. Pretty, not bad, not bad shape. I mean, at this point, we're only really replacing it because we've got, we've got it all off and we've got the new one. That's the old one. John's just putting the new one in. So this little nugget thing that I've got in my hand is called the Woodruff key. And John's just putting the new one, the new one in. It just literally sits in 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 there. That's it. And if you look on the impeller, there's a little notch, and that Woodruff key just sits in here. And that's what catches and makes that spin round. I'm oh, just yeah. going to slide this all down and shut her back up. That's it, he's on. We obviously changed the O-ring inside there. Again, I forgot to film it, sorry. <laughs> and the uh, obviously the new impeller's gone in. And there was just these these four bolts left to go back in and that's it. Well, I've reverted back to the uh, the GoPro camera now. So if you see a bit of a change in the camera, you'll know why. The battery went flat on my phone, so I had to stop using it. He's literally now just fitting the bottom leg on. There we go. There we go. She's home. She's in. The gap's closed down here now. You've got to put these bolts back in, and yeah. we then we where are they? Left them on the table. We're in such a mess here. Look. <laughs> See if I can get this one in. Yeah, she's going straight in. Right, we screw these up. And then after we've got these bolts in, we'll run it up. Uh, we we got to try and find a, a bucket of water or some way of uh, getting the uh, the water supply. The other day, we were struggling with the muffs that we had, so we were trying to find a different way. I brought an old an old dustbin there, look, to see if it, but the uh, this won't fit in the dustbin, so. We're gonna try and find a different different way. We might have to just continue using the muffs like we did last time. Once we once we run it up, then we gotta check that oil oil level again because obviously the the oil would have gone around the system, and we'll check to make sure we've got the correct oil level. And then we're pretty much done, finished. Turn her on, John. Right, well, so with some wiggling about, we did actually make be able to make this uh, this old dustbin fit, but it may be beyond use as a dustbin after this because we 
We've broken it a bit there. But we'll wait for that to fill up. Then we can give her a try. She's full up. Well, we've put the fresh gas in the tank. Fresh uh, fuel in the tank. Give her a prime. Give her a little squeeze. Oh, she's firming up. She's there, right. Now, kill cord's on. I can't actually reach it. I can't get a good... I can't get a good pull on it. Oh, I'm going to have to get in there. Wait a minute, I'm going to have to get in. Sounding a hell of a lot better. Very quiet. Sounding so much better. Quiet. Well, let's shut her off then. Let's check the oil again. Sounding so much better. Yeah. Sounds smooth. So quiet. <laughs> Isn't it? I'll tell you what. I could almost say that is nearly as quiet as my 15. That's with the engine cover off. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Sounds brand new. Yeah. A lot better. Bang on the full mark. So we don't need to top that up anymore. Looks fine. There we go. Right, so now I'm going to start her back up again. I'm going to let it get to temperature just to make sure we haven't got any issues, no funny noises, rattles, knocks, bangs. But I can tell you, she sounds sweet. <laughs> she running sweet now. So quiet. And that water, obviously now we got the bucket, that water is pumping out of there like a bloody jet water. Look at it. That is great. It started raining on us. We've literally packed everything away, but we're finished. We've done the service, it's complete. Um, so we've packed everything away, we've put the, the cover back on the boat. I was actually gonna do the, uh, the wheel bearings on the trailer today, but because of the weather, it's got late on us as well. We're gonna call that for another video. Um, but yeah, I hope, hope you might have learnt something from this today. I certainly have learnt a few little things. Um, the only thing that we didn't do was uh, the thermostat. We didn't change the thermostat. And the reason for that is it's in a little housing with a gasket and the new thermostat did not come with the gasket. So I'll order the gasket and we'll change that another time. I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've got uh, something out of it. Maybe you've learnt something about your engine. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time you come along for the ride with Budgie. Take care. Bye-bye.